If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video, try the question on your own before listening on. For part A, in order to find the difference in path lengths from each of the slits to the location of the third order bright fringe on the screen, we're going to have to consider the formula for the path difference involved in constructive interference. Now we know it's constructive interference because the question notes that we have a bright fringe. And for constructive interference, the path difference is given by the Greek letter delta, and that's going to equal m times the wavelength. Now, m is simply going to be an integer that can take on any value from 0 to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and so on. Uh, the question notes that we're looking for the third order bright fringe, so that means that m is going to be equal to 3. And then the wavelength is given to us directly as 589 nanometers. So we can go ahead and plug in for m for the third order bright fringe and then multiply it by the wavelength of 589 nanometers. You should get 1.77 times 10 to the third nanometers. If you needed to express that in micrometers, we note that 10 to the positive 9 nanometers are present in 1 meter. And then of course 1 meter is 10 to the positive 6 micrometers. And if you set up the calculation that way, the nanometers will cancel and the meters will cancel, leaving you with micrometers. And so you end up with 1.77 micrometers. So that would be the correct answer to part A. For part B, we're being asked to locate the third dark fringe. Now, because it says dark, that actually corresponds to destructive interference. And for destructive interference, the path length is equal to m plus one half multiplied by the wavelength. Now where this question gets potentially tricky is that it says we're looking for the third dark fringe. So that might lead us to believe that m is going to equal three. But notice it doesn't say third order, it just says third. And let's try to clarify that distinction. So here is a picture taken from the chapter and we can see that the diagram has max, min, max, min in an alternating pattern. In this case, the max would correspond to a bright spot and the min would correspond to a dark spot. And they basically come in pairs. So the first bright spot has its first dark spot directly next to it. The second bright spot has the second dark spot directly next to it, and so on. We can actually go up to the third bright spot and third dark spot up here. And what you want to notice is that for the first pair, the m value is equal to 0. For the next pair, the m is equal to 1, and the third pair, the m is equal to 2. So, strictly speaking, if the question asks for the third dark fringe, it's asking for the third minimum, but that value of m is actually equal to 2. So when we plug in, we have to be careful to plug 2 in for m, not 3. And then we'll also put the wavelength of 589 in. And this works out to be 1.47 times 10 to the third nanometers. And then we want to convert it into micrometers again, so we can do 1 meter is 10 to the ninth nanometers, and then 1 meter is 10 to the sixth micrometers. Meters will cancel, so will the nanometers, and we get 1.47 micrometers. So this is the correct answer to part B. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.